So far we've seen some really inspiring stories. I don't think any of our girls had thought about uh, a future in construction. And this is a very good platform today that uh, the built environment has hosted where school children have come from varied backgrounds from the UTC and from the schools uh, to demonstrate their interest in built environment. And they're using their imagination to work on a real life project uh, and it's particularly exciting because it's going to be on the site where our school will be uh, for next academic year. So the girls in the team I've been working with have started thinking about what subjects they do and who's good at different subjects. So, so far I've heard, well, I'm good at science. Somebody else has said, I'm good at maths, I'll do that bit. Somebody else has said DT. And they're able to utilise all those skills together as a team to plan this new exciting project for the courtyard. They're, they're looking at a two-level uh, idea at the moment so that we have the social space and the cafe area with learning areas that are slightly set away so that they can have that quiet time, that quiet space um, with areas to uh, encourage group and independent learning but also the opportunity to interact and, and relax and engage with some of the other students who will be using the space as well. I oh, know they're enjoying their activity, they're all working really hard and they'll come back with renewed enthusiasm and I think potentially an interest in construction. There are many different avenues that you can go and work in and there's a lot of different skills that they can use. You don't have to be male and that the females can thrive in this business. I know they've been uh, renovating and developing areas within Wolverhampton but I didn't know about this particular area so it's really interesting to see what they're going to be doing with it and that some of our girls could potentially give some ideas towards that.